Good morning, my friends. I'm Clover, and this is Between Your Ears, which is the gas puzzle posted by Philip Newman on September 27th, 2024. This is a between line Sudoku, so we're placing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outlined 3x3 three three region. And then on top of that, there are some lines in the grid that join pairs of circles. And the rule says that the digits on the line have to be in between the values on the ends of the line. So for example, because we already have a six on this line, six has to be in between five and something else. So the something else has to be a pretty high number. And in fact, to fit in enough different digits in between five and this unknown value, the only possible unknown value that can work is a nine, leaving a seven and an eight in the empty spots on the line. The exact same thing is happening here. The only value that can work there is a one, leaving this as a two and three. We can also resolve this central region using these columns because we still need two, three, seven, and eight in the center. We have two, seven, and eight in the column. Here we have two and eight in the column. So two and eight will go in those cells and this will be a seven. Now, if we look at these columns that are nearly complete, this will have to contain five, six, and nine, but there's a six in the region. So we're gonna place a six right there. These will have to contain one, four, and five. There's a four in this region, so we're going to place a four up here. Now this actually can't be a five on the other end of this line because then we could only place three and four on this line and we need to place three different digits there, uh, not just two. So that will have to be a nine. And something similar is happening here. If this was a five, we'd only get a six and seven in these cells, that is impossible. So this is going to be a one. These will be seven and nine. These will be one and three. So now let's consider what is happening in these rows. These are a little bit less restricted, but we should be able to get somewhere with them. So we still need one, three, five, six, seven in this row. And it seems like a lot, but we're gonna start making some eliminations. So we can't ever have a one on a between line at all. And we also can't have a nine on a between line, even though that's not coming up right now. This can't be a five by Sudoku. So we're gonna eliminate five from that cell. And if we turn our attention to this, this can't be a six because there's already a six on one end. So six is definitely not going to be in between seven and whatever the other value is. This also can't be a five because there's a five in the column. If this was a seven, then this digit would have to be higher, which would make it a nine given what we've already eliminated in this row, which would mean that these digits would all have to be between six and nine, but there aren't three different digits in between six and nine. So this has to be a three. We're going to get something very similar down here. Where in this row, we need three, five, seven, nine, and four. Ignore that I did those in fully the wrong order. This can't be a five or a nine. This can't be a nine. And I think that's all of the easy eliminations that we can make. Oh, we can actually conclude that this has to be a four because it has to be lower than six in order for this between line to work. So the other end of this between line will be one or two. Now here, this can't be a four. It also can't be a five by Sudoku. And if it was a three, then this end of the between line would have to be one, leaving us with only two and three to place on this part of the line, which is impossible. So that will be a seven, making that a six. And we can clean up a bit with Sudoku. We can eliminate fours there. This is higher than seven. So this will be either an eight or a nine. These between lines are starting to get finished up. So one is way too close to two to be the other end of the line. And so is five actually, because if we put five on the other end of this particular line, we could only ever place three and four in these cells. So that will be a seven. And these have to be some combo of three, four, five, and six. I can eliminate five and six there. This can't be three, four, or five because of the column. And so that's kind of partially taken care of. Now for the same reason as the top right, this cell can't be five or nine. So that's going to be a three. These will be four, five, six, and seven. And that makes this a four via Sudoku. Okay, now I need one, five, four, eight, and nine to finish this row. I have a five in the row already, so I can eliminate five there. I can't put a one or nine on the between line. I can't put a four there because there's a four in the column. So that's now an eight and this is going to be a nine. I can eliminate eight from those cells at this point. Now to finish this off, um, I'm going to need one, five, six, two, and nine. And again, that's kind of a lot, but we're going to make a lot of eliminations really fast. So there's a five in the row. This can't be a one or a nine or a six. So this is a two. That's a one. These are going to be seven, eight, and nine. That's not an eight. That's not a nine. Okay. So that will be our seven. That will resolve the seven, nine pair. And I'm just doing a little bit of Sudoku cleanup at this point. So now these need to be two, three, four, and nine. This can't be two and nine because those are already the two endpoints. So that gives us a three, four pair in the row and we can eliminate three and four here. 
And of course that three makes this a four and makes this a three. So that's resolved. Now, up here, finishing this column, I think is the next best place to look. So those will be one, two, and three. So this is now a one, three pair. And these are going to be four, five, seven, and eight. Those can't be four or five. This is going to have to be a four or five pair. And here I need two, seven, eight, and nine. That can't be seven or eight. That gives me a two, nine pair. And those are going to be eight and seven to finish up. All right, what do I need next? So this can't be a four, so this is my four in a row. These cells have to be in between one and eight. Those are two, three, four, five, six. That means this can only be six by Sudoku, which resolves this six, seven by value into a seven and actually bounces up here to do a little bit more resolving. Penciling in this column reveals that the only position for a five in the column is right there. That can't be five, six, or four by Sudoku. That's now a nine and a two and a nine. That will be a five and a one and a nine. And I think we can resolve the entirety of this. So that's now a one and a six, that's a four. These will be one, three, eight, and nine. That's going to have to be a three by Sudoku because of what we already have in the row. And I think that we can do the rest of it just via classic Sudoku rules. That can't be a six, of course. So that now can't be a one. That's where we're going to place our six. That's going to be a two or a three. And this cell has to be in between two and nine, so that's done. Almost thought I had a little deadly pattern at the end there, but I didn't. Ignore the timer. Um, I spent a little bit of time with this puzzle before I started solving it on camera for you guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you want to solve it yourself, the link to solve is in the description below this video. Check it out, and I will see you again in three days for the next video.